In this tutorial, I will be explaining how to reflect or to flip an eye to the other side of the face. For reference, this is a parent deformer and anything underneath it is its child deformer. What's most important when reflecting things to the other side is that your VTuber or whatever you are rigging is centered on the canvas. If your model is not centered on the canvas, when you go to make any deformers, all of them will not be centered. Here, as an example, is an off-centered VTuber. He is not centered in the middle of the canvas. So if you go to reflect the eye, it will not be centered. This is an example of an off-centered parrot deformer. This can occur if you're using a lot of deformers and one of them kind of gets shifted to the other side. Sometimes this can happen. So when you're doing eyeball stuff, you want to make sure everything is fresh deformers for the eyeballs. This parent deformer is off-centered. It was made to house both the left and the right eye under one deformer. So when you go to reflect the eyeball to the other side, it is a little bit off-centered. Any deformers that you make is based off of the center of the objects inside of it. Uh, so if the deformer you have is off-centered, then any deformers you make inside of this off-centered deformer will be off-center. Because what you are reflecting is essentially inside of that box. So if the big box is not symmetrical to your canvas, it will reflect that way. So if I take this box, reflect, it will be equal inside of this bigger box, right? But if we move this box to the side, like so, and we reflect inside this box, it'll be still symmetrical with inside this box, but now it is off-center from your canvas. But if you reflect a deformer that has no parent deformer and your VTuber is centered on the canvas, it will also be centered because it is based off of the canvas itself when there is no parent deformer. You want to make sure that all of the eye parts that you want to reflect are together under one deformer. It just makes things easier to reflect it on the other side. You want to make sure that you are completely done rigging the whole eye before you reflect it. You can either have both eyes under one uh, parent deformer when deciding the angles for the head. How you do this is you just make a deformer per individual eye, select both of the eyes, and then make one master eye deformer. Like that. And that way you have one deformer that you can use to then rig on the face. Or you can just decide to rig each individual eye on the X and Y angles instead of having one big parent deformer. Uh, for this, I have made the left eye red and the right eye gray. You want to select the parent deformer containing all the pieces parts of the eye that you're planning to reflect. You want to right click that deformer and hit select child objects. Here you can either select control C to copy it or you can go to edit and copy. And then you want to either edit paste or control V to paste it so that you have a duplicate right eye. Now you can either choose to right click all the objects and hit reflect, or you can go to edit form and reflect. Here a window will pop up that looks like this. You want to select Reflect horizontally, angle X, and eyeball X. You do not need to select anything else in this window. Then you want to hit OK. As you can see, 
it reflected to the other side of the face. So now that you have your brand new left eye, you can change right above me, you can change it to be left eye if you want to relabel it to make things a little clearer. You will notice that it is still attached to all of the right side eye perimeters. And how you change that is you want to right click the parent deformer that contains your left eye, hit select child objects, and then you will want to click on IR open, click right click the box here and go down to change. And you find the IL open and hit OK. Same thing with IR smile is you want to uh, right click this box, go over to change and you want to hit I L smile. I have small there's. So you will notice that now the IR open is its own and the IL open is its own. And there you go, that's how you do it. One of the things that you notice when you reflect the eye to the other side is the eye highlight is also reflected. Uh, to fix this so that it is the other way, you can right click, go to object at cursor, highlight, so you get the highlight selected and then you want to right click and reflect. You want to do reflect horizontally and nothing else. Click it and it should shift in the eye and be reflected. If you want to make any small edits to one of the eyes without having to go through reflecting all the pieces all over again to the other eye, what you can do is make your edit on one of your eyes. Uh, let's say this, I want this to be like turned this way, something like that on um, the final uh, parameter like that. You can hit um, Control Shift and C to copy that art mesh as to where it's at. And you can also go to modeling and then edit form and then copy form. And then you can go to the other eyes, um, the same part, go to the uh, param where you want to edit, and then you can hit Control Shift and V to uh, paste that art mesh shape. So uh, you can see where the eyelashes were now moved, just like that, or however you want to do it you want to adjust like the shadow or any other little thing, you can just control shift C and then control shift V on the other eye. I think this may only work if the part was duped to the other side because they're identical art meshes. And that is how you make small edits to an eye without having to reflect it on the entire eye over to the other side. If this video helped you out, uh, please like it and or leave a comment. Uh, if you have any suggestions for a different beginner -y thing tutorial that you would like me to do, I can see about doing that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped.